Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, back for our final video um, with proportions with area and volume. So by the end of this video, you should be able to apply relationships between volume and areas of similar solids. Taking a look, we're going to refresh our memory. In the investigations that we previously did, we discovered relationships between the areas and volumes of similar polygons. So we know that if the side ratio is equal to m over n, then we know there's a relationship between the ratio of their areas and the ratio of their volumes. What you will notice is I've been writing this out in each video. This is definitely a great strategy to use. Um, so just to kind of keep remembering which ratios we're going to be using, whether we're given area, whether we're giving volume, or whether we're trying to determine a side ratio. So if the side ratio is m over n, then the area ratio is m squared over n squared. And then the volume ratio would be m cubed over n cubed. Now taking a look at this problem, we are told that the right cylinders in the figure are similar. We are given that r is 10 centimeters. And we're told the volume of the large cylinder is 64 centimeters cubed, and the volume of the small cylinder is 8 centimeters cubed. We are trying to solve for the larger radius of the larger cylinder. Well, if we know that the, if we know the two volumes of the cylinders, both the larger cylinder and the smaller cylinder, we can set up that proportion. So the ratio of the large volume of the large cylinder to the volume of the small cylinder would be 64 over 8. Well, what we're trying to solve for is a side length or a rate uh, or a radius. Since we need the radius, we need to go from volume from our volume ratio to our side ratio. Well, to undo something that is cubed, we need to take the cube root of each value. So we are going to take the cube root of 64 and the cube root of 8. So the cube root of 64 is 4, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So the side ratio between this from the bigger cylinder to the smaller cylinder is 4 over 2 which we can also simplify to 2 over 1 if we wanted to. Now that we have the side ratio or the ratio of their corresponding parts we can go ahead and set up a ratio to solve for the missing radius. We know that 2 over 1 or the ratio of their corresponding parts their corresponding sides in this case it's the corresponding radii is equal to, well, we're using the larger cylinder in the numerator and the smaller cylinder in the denominator. So in this case, we don't know our larger cylinder's radius. We're going to call that r over our smaller cylinder's radius, which is 10. To solve this, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So we get r is equal to 20 centimeters. So remember, the important part of these problems is if you're trying to find a corresponding part, side, radius, you need to use the side ratio. If you're looking for the area of two similar figures, then you should use the area ratio. And if you are looking for the volume of similar figures, you need to use the volume ratio. Being, being able to use these ratios, you'll be able to set up proportions to solve for any of your missing links. Nice work.